A Toronto judge is considering sentencing arguments for Peter Nygaard. The former fashion mogul was found guilty on four counts of sexual assault last November. The Crown has painted Nygaard as a predator, while the defence has emphasised his age and poor health. The CBC's Angie Seth is at the Toronto Courthouse. What we heard today over this first day of this two-day sentencing hearing was the Crown's case for a much stiffer sentence, 15 years for Peter Nygaard, rather unprecedented here in Canada. The Crown saying that they did take into account time served, his age, Peter Nygaard is 83 years old today, as well as his health. But they've also argued that Peter Nygaard did not suffer any level of hardship while in custody, rather living in a rather private in a private suite. He has a phone and seemed to be his health otherwise seemed to be faring well. Now, over the course of today, we did hear victim impact statements. Four victims, four women uh, describing the ordeal that they went through at the hands of Peter Nygaard. Some pointing at this out as one of the worst things that they've ever experienced in their life. Many talking about suffering from depression and PTSD. One woman describing the loss of job opportunities and the triggers from billboards and clothing labels that put her in a situation where she had difficulty breathing and would start to stutter. Many of them now being diagnosed with PTSD and, and requiring a great deal of therapy, describing Nygaard as a predator and as an animal. In addition to the 15 years, the Crown is also asking that Nygaard be put on the sexual offender registry for life. And they're also asking restitution for the victims for the ordeal that they have gone through, the cost of therapy, the loss of jobs, and the profound harm that they continue to experience now, 35 years after that has all happened, in addition to the fear that these women continue to face not being able to report this, not being able to go to police. The Crown also pointing out that there were no signs of remorse, hoping that the judge will take that into account, saying that during Nygaard's trial, his only defense was, I don't remember doing that, and I'm not that kind of guy. The defense we know is presenting their case as well today, and they will be focusing on Nygaard's health, referring to him as a frail man. We saw him in court today wearing a, a, uh, a hooded jacket, sitting in a wheelchair. Nygaard has argued that he was not able to attend court, but rather wanted to come via Zoom meeting, which the judge denied. The defense will also be looking at all of the Crown's points and refuting those points, showing that Nygaard should be afforded a much lesser sentence rather than the 15 years that the Crown is presenting. And in addition to all of that, Nygaard is also facing charges in Quebec, as well as Manitoba, as well as south of the border in New York, where he's also facing an extradition hearing. The sentencing hearing continues again tomorrow with the hope that the judge will be able to bring down a decision. If that decision is not made, things could be pushed until September. For CBC News, I'm Angie Seth here in Toronto.